Welcome back, nail queens. I'm really excited to showcase the Shameless Nails new holiday collection. So Shameless Nails and a lot of companies right now are moving into Christmas territory. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not ready for that kind of dedication. So I'm gonna show you guys all of Shameless Nails new collection and I'm gonna do a mani with it, but it's not gonna be Christmas themed. So here is Shameless Nails packaging. They always blow it out of the water. They do such a great job with their packaging. Their branding is impeccable. And I love that the collections come with like this little info card and it's super cute, super decorative. And it tells you about every single color that's coming in the collection. So just give me a moment and I'm gonna show you the colors. The first color is called Major Award. The info card says, Riches await inside this gold studded burgundy turning to bright red beauty. Yes, you heard, it turns to bright red. So this is a thermal changer. It goes from hot to cold. This is the cold color. It is a gorgeous burgundy, very deep with this gorgeous gold glitter. But here you can see the transition from the burgundy to the red. I think it's absolutely stunning and I love this one. Bedford Falls is described as invisible angel wings are distributed liberally in this heavenly shade ready to envelop you like an evening walk in the pure sparkling snow. Doesn't this look like snow? It is so beautiful, fine, and easy to use. 34th Street is also a thermal. It's described as this cozy shade full of sophisticated glimmers and shimmers will inspire you to believe transforming your world from subtle tones to rosy optimism. So the color is currently in its cold state. It is the darkest red that it will go. And here it is showing cold versus warm. Warm is up top, cold is on bottom. And then here it is compared to major award. I'm going to save your ears by not actually screaming out this line from Elf, but Santa, oh my god, I know him! The magical presence of Santa makes this perfect holiday color shifting dip. This is literally a Christmas tree. Like, look at it, it's got the green, it's got the perfect red, the gold reminds me of ornaments on a tree, and the gold actually shifts. Hermie, the dentist elf. Nobody misfits it better than you in this soft blue chunky glitter. I love blue and I love Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Hermie is one of my favorite characters from that movie. It's also one of my favorite Christmas movies in existence. I love the animation of that movie. Griswold, I think this one's going to be a fan favorite. It says, you'll light up the night in this glowing tribute to the family full of pinks, purples, teals, and silvers. This color is a gorgeous purple base and you can already tell the colors that it has in its glitter. But this color also glows and I think that's so cool. I love myself a good Die Hard reference, so Nakatomi is like the reflected glow of multicolored lights and shards of metal and glass. This metallic dip will give you all the badass holiday feels you can handle. Who else thinks that Die Hard is a Christmas movie? Raise your hand if you do in the comments below. And the Die Hard references keep going. Man, I love this. Yippee ki -yay insert motherfucker. <laughs> Be your own hero in the shimmering dip pierced with turquoise blue flakes and color shifters. So it has what looks like to be like a nice nude base and I love the turquoise flakes they have in this. Christmas is not Christmas without a green. Little buddy, when you elf it up in the super festive green shimmer, you'll be singing loud for all to hear. It's a simple, gorgeous green powder that's perfect for holiday festive manicures. It's almost mani time, I promise, but here are all the gorgeous colors. If you're interested in purchasing any of these, I'm going to have a link and a discount code in the description box below so you can shop your heart out and have festive manis all winter long. But I'm not going to be doing festive. I'm going to be actually pulling out a color from last year's Christmas collection. Oh, Tannenbaum. Is that how you say it? I think so. Anyways, I love this green. I actually wore it last year and I wanted to use it again this year. I'm also going to be using Major Award. It is my favorite color from this new collection and is a thermal, what makes it better. Anything that changes color 
It's just like, it's got a double effect. It's like you're wearing two dips at once. Anyways, I'm going to apply a peel base to my nails. It already has a peel base on my nails. It's just air drying right now. And I tried out jelly tips. Y'all, I suck at jelly tips. If you can do this and successfully do this, kudos to you. This is difficult. I struggled. I got through it. I'm alive. It's okay. We're fine. But let's get on into the manicure. Okay, I want to first off say thank you if you made it this far into the video because I don't- I know not everyone loves like the swatch thingy. They want to go straight into a manicure. If you made it this far and you watched all this watching, I appreciate you. Thank you for sticking it out. I actually love the swatching parts. Like I want to see all the colors up close and personal, not just the colors in a jar. I don't know about you guys. If you guys prefer swatches and want to see swatches on camera when like people are showing you what they're putting on their nails, let me know in the comments below if you're into that. And look at the color change. It's already warm on my fingers, so it looks like it's a bright red, but it's cold in the jar, so it's like that dark, deep burgundy. So I'm going to actually move on to the green, and I'm going to put the green on three of my nails, my index, my pinky, and my thumb. And while I'm putting the green on my nails, we're going to get into a Q&A. I love answering your guys' questions on my videos, so here's a recent question from Tammy. So Tammy says, you are always so organized. Do you have any advice for someone working on a dime? As they say, I do not have a dedicated area. I use the end of my kitchen table. Thank you so much. All right, first off, I wanna take a moment to recognize Tammy. Tammy has been on my channel for quite a while now and she watches and comments on all of my videos. I absolutely love this. I appreciate you, Tammy, and I notice that you're here and I love your presence and your vibe. Thank you so much for asking this question. I do have some advice. I too started working on my kitchen table when I first started doing my nails at home, first started dipping, so it was kind of messy at first. I went through so many different storage solutions and in the end I wasted too much money trying different solutions and upgrading, but I wasn't upgrading with room to grow. So my advice for somebody working on a dime is to get yourself a nice storage cart that would fit inside of like your bedroom closet, a coat closet, like in your laundry room, kind of keep it away from moisture though, somewhere that you can tuck it away, but also roll it out when you need it to actually do your nails. The cart does not have to cost a lot of money, but it should have enough room for you to grow because I know if you're like me, you probably like buying powders here and there and you're going to have to store them somewhere eventually. And if you're someone who doesn't want to work on your kitchen table, my other recommendation is to get like a dinner tray. So like those TV trays that you, you can fold up, put away, put it in the corner. Do your nails on a TV tray. I feel very, very blessed to have the nail room that I do. I didn't used to have this. There was two apartments that we lived in prior to us moving into this house. So the first apartment, it was our kitchen table. And then I had a desk in the corner that I eventually started working at and doing my nails on that desk. When we moved into the second apartment after that, I had a dedicated like built-in desk into the wall, which was great. Um, I asked my boyfriend if he wanted that for his work and he's like, no, you can have it. That was incredible. I like appreciated that so much because I was able to like have a place to do my nails and I didn't have to take everything down after I was done and I got to put all of my like stuff stored behind me. There was a closet behind me. It was our linen closet. So the bottom two shelves in the linen closet were dedicated for my nail stuff. So um, kind of updating you guys on what I'm doing on my nails. I already activated, filed, shaped, and buffed, and I cleansed it with rubbing alcohol. Everything looks really cloudy right now, and it's because the rubbing alcohol did that. But when I activate the nail again, it's going to look completely fine. So don't even worry. And then after this, I'm going to cleanse the nail with alcohol again and top coat. So I want to thank Tammy again for asking that question and everybody who's been asking questions so far. I love answering your questions. I love to add them into my videos and just like it gives me more to talk about than just the same old, same old. So I appreciate that and I like that. So if you guys ever have a question that you want to ask and you want it answered on a future video, just write Q&A and then type out your question. That way I know that you want me to put it into a video. 
And I'm sorry things are kind of wobbly right now. I just got a tattoo last week and I'm trying to get comfortable. Like I can't rest my arm and my elbow against the table. So I'm like have it free floating in the air. And it's kind of hard to like do your nails when you don't have like leverage. You don't have anything to like prop your arm up against. So things are looking a little weird. Sorry about that. And I know, I know you're probably thinking, Carol, you didn't do your middle finger. Why is there nothing on your middle finger? So I'm actually gonna do a tortoise shell nail art. I, I have a video on that. I haven't edited it yet. It's a whole different process. This video would have been like 20 something minutes long. I try to keep them short and enjoyable for you guys. So I'm gonna have that video coming up next week if you wanna watch it, just hang tight, I promise. It's actually using gel. I know some people want like a dip powder method to do that. I think Melissa's Manny's has a dip powder version of tortoise shell on her nails, but I did the, the super easy way that I knew and I used gel. So I'm waiting for the top coat to dry, and once this is all dry, I'm gonna pop in some footage of the tortoise shell Manny after it's all done. And that's what I mean, guys. Like, you don't have to use your holiday dip powders for just holiday manicures. I have turned, I've used two Christmas dip powders, and I've actually turned this manicure into a non-holiday manicure. Don't be afraid to pull out those holiday dip powders and use them for non-holiday manicures. And as always, as we near the end of the video, I always have to give you guys the mushy gushy. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And here's the full Manny reveal. I love this Manny and I hope you guys do too. All right, thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Yeah.